term you use, would you say that she is wrong? Not not want to ban it, or, or because it's not because it's allowed in our country. So we understand you have to be faithful to the country's laws as a governor or as a senator. Fine. But would you at least go on record as a Catholic saying she's wrong? It's a sin what she's doing. He would have no problem in saying that if a, a woman chose to uh, make racist comments, she has sinned, she is wrong. So now we're, so it's clear he makes moral judgments. If you say you accept the teachings of your church, would you even at least say, okay, women make a choice, but many women make an immoral choice. Would you say that? What do you think his answer would be? I know what his answer would be. It's not for me to choose. It's between her and her conscience. So then you're not a faithful Catholic. Catholicism doesn't say abortion is a matter of conscience. It says it's wrong. If he'd say, I don't accept my church's teachings on abortion, I would not have a word to say. Then he's intellectually honest. <laughs> and then he excoriates uh, Donald Trump uh, for wanting to, quote, a repeal Roe v. Wade, wanting to put it on the ash heap of history. Why doesn't he want to put Roe v. Wade on the ash heap of history? I bet you that he has never been asked this, and I bet you he has never asked himself this. This is the state of the superficial thinking that dominates America today because people go to college and they learn to think superficially. But I, I would love, I would really love to know the answer to that.